again, welcome back to EdTech School. Today I'm going to talk about social media in your classroom. How can you manage it? Here are a few tips. Social media is like traffic. It can be very unexpected. My first tip is to talk about it with your students. When you talk with your students about social media, they will come to you when they encounter a problem. But if you only talk about social media in a negative way, students won't ask for help. Why? Because they are afraid you'll punish them for using social media. Punishment can include just words like told you it was dangerous or don't use your iPad anymore. In the future, students won't come to you anymore even if they have some serious problems. It's easy to talk about social media without spending a whole new lesson to it. You can integrate social media in your own lessons. For example, let your students make a YouTube video about a certain topic. Afterwards, link a social media lesson to it and ask necessary questions. How do you want to be seen on the internet? Which people may see the video? Which people may absolutely not see the video? Or how are you going to avoid that? What dangers can you encounter? And what about privacy settings? Just because you have to support social media doesn't mean that you can't make rules. That is my second tip. It's important that students know when they have to use it and when not. You can set up some social media rules like these. 1. Students can only use their smartphones for themselves during the intermission and only outside. If this doesn't work, you can create a smartphone jail. At the beginning of the lesson, you ask your students to hand over their cell phones or place it in a basket. This is the second rule. Every phone's volume has to be turned down. Don't let cell phones interrupt the class. Phones and social media can be used during class only, when the teacher says so, for educational purposes. Here's another tip when making rules. Involve your students to create mutual agreements on the use of social media. Most students know that they can't use social media while the teacher is explaining something. It should be easy to come to a mutual agreement. And we all know that students will indulge rules more if they were the ones who made them. Even the best rules are useless if you don't enforce them. Just like the rules, you can let your students agree on a sanction when someone doesn't live by them. You'll be surprised at how hard students can be for themselves. Tip number three. Involve the parents when addressing the social media topic. After all, students will be using social media even more at home. Rules in the ordinary world often apply in the virtual world as well. That's why parents have to know what their kids have learned from the teacher and the other way around. It's important that everyone knows the benefits and the dangers of social media. Today, students are the too much the only ones interested. Therefore, they have often no authority figure to rely on when something goes wrong. My fourth tip includes some fun practices. You can do so many things with social media that actually fits right into your classroom. I'll cover the most popular social media platforms. If these don't fit in your classroom, try out something else. There are so many different opportunities and possibilities. The first platform fit for your classroom is Snapchat. Students love Snapchat. They like sharing pictures and videos and they also like watching them. What about mini learning videos at any time of the day? You can share mini lessons or photos from your daily life that are related to your classroom topic. What better way to integrate real life with your school? With Instagram, you can create a photo project about your lesson topic. In geography, you can have students take pictures of some environmental hotspots. For history, your students have to discover the ancient city and photograph special historical places and buildings. Another fun idea is to let your students introduce themselves with Instagram. Let them take meaningful pictures that represent them. You can also create a Facebook group for your class. Students will share more and ask way more questions. You can help them out or let someone else explain. You can post interesting videos, books, polls and many more. It's very important that students know the rules of this group, like what kind of posts are inappropriate and what doesn't belong in this group. Next up, Twitter. 
One of the simplest ways to use Twitter in the classroom involves setting up a feed dedicated exclusively to due dates, tests or quizzes. As a result, students get a small reminder of the upcoming due dates and assignments. You can also use Twitter for setting up a field trip. Encourage parental involvement by asking them to voice their opinions on where to go and which places to avoid when it comes to planning field trips. Finally, there is YouTube. As I have said in the beginning of this video, you can let students make their own YouTube video about a lesson topic instead of a PowerPoint presentation. Students will love it. And there are hundreds more things you can do with social media. Take a look in our blog post to find a social media platform that fits for your classroom. Don't forget to check the other fun ideas in the links. My last tip on how to manage social media in your classroom is this one. Be a good example. Everybody knows a teacher who throws everything on social media. From cat pictures to baby pictures or party pictures. Please, don't be that teacher. You are an example to your students. Act like you know how to handle social media and edit your privacy settings. There's one more thing you have to think about. You may be the expert on your course, but you probably aren't an expert on social media. There to ask your students to help you on the matter. There is nothing wrong with that. Students are happy to help their teachers. That was it for this week. Don't forget to read the blog post for more examples. You can find it as a link in the comments. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me next week here at EdTech School.